Depending on how this pack opening goes, today we might have made a terrible decision or it might be one that we make a ton of coins off of. So this morning, I woke up around 5 a.m. I could not sleep. I was excited for Team of the Year. I had 2.4 million coins, okay? And I was wondering how could one get these Team of the Year cards much cheaper than what EA values them at. So if you guys didn't know, if you go to the Training Currency tab, they got the Team of the Year offensive pack in the game. You're going to spend 39,000 training, which is about 400,000 coins worth of training, to get yourself a 96 plus Team of the Year pack. And I'm like, I want to do this, but I don't know if this makes sense mathematically. I'm like, how can I go ahead and get myself a random team of the year player, whether it be on offense or defense, were way cheaper than what EA values this pack at. And I got to thinking, and I found a way that I was able to knock these sets out for about 100,000 coins less. Which is why this could be a really good pack. <laughs> and so with that knowledge, I, with that knowledge, with that knowledge, and with, <clears throat> with, and with that find, I went ahead and, and with that find, today you guys will be seeing 10 team of the year and with that find you guys will be seeing 10 it's a new year but if you guys still need some madden ultimate team coin check out mmoan.com cheapest coins on the market and they get even cheaper once you use code texas at checkout for 10 percent off And with that find, you guys will be seeing me rip 10 Team of the Year packs. Probably going to be mostly all on defense just because I want that Luke Keekly. I want the Minka Fitzpatrick. I want that Jamal Adams, but we'll get into that later on. But let's go ahead and show you guys how exactly I got my 10 packs for that cheap cost. So like I said, this Team of the Year offensive slash defensive pack is valued at 400,000 coins because coins per training right now are around 10 to 11, 12 per. So... Do the math. 10 times that is 390,000 coins. 12 times that is over 400,000 coins. So I'm like, that's a lot. That's a lot of damn coins for a 96 overall. 96 overall is quick sell for 34,600 training, I believe. Something along the lines like that. So I'm like, ah, that's a lot of damn coins to lose with this re-roll set. So I'm like, all right, there got to be a better way. And that better way was disguised in the team of the year set. The offense and defense, where you got to exchange 187 to 88, 189 to 90 overall, 291 to 92s, as well as 193 to 94. I'm going to go ahead and tell you exactly what I did. This morning, I went at 5 a.m., went to the auction block, and just went on a spending spree. I bought 240. Yep, 240. That's a crazy amount. But 240, 80 to 82 overall, um, just elites. So I can go ahead and exchange those for the gingerbread man, which... Then you can go ahead and get guys like Adrian Peterson with for three of them and a guy like Hendricks for six of them. And I bought most of those cards for 10,000 under. Some cards even for like 8,000 under. But if you're doing a math, we'll just do 10,000 coins each for every single one of the cards that I bought. 10,000 per elite. It takes six elites to get Adrian Peterson. That's going to be 60,000 coins. So math works out right there. With Ted Hendricks, he takes six total collectibles, which is going to be 12 total elites, which is going to be 120,000 coins. So base that off of current market value. If you were to go out here and buy a 91 overall for 90,000 coins, you're paying 30,000 coins more than you can go ahead and build these cards for. Now, it does take a lot of damn time, but I'd rather spend that time and save some coin than get out here and rush things and then end up being broke at the end of the day. So that's what you guys should be doing if you guys want to get these sets done for much cheaper. Same thing with Hendrix. Hendrix, 120,000 coins. And right now, you can go ahead and buy a 93 overall for 180k so that's 60,000 coins that you'll be saving just by buying core elites and then exchanging them not core elites but buying 80 to 82 overall elites and exchanging them into the gingerbread set and exchanging gingerbread into those players but we're not done there how do we get the 89s as well as the 87s i'll show you get the 89s as well as the 87s i did something a little bit counterproductive i went and did these training currency packs for the heavyweights as well as vets because if you were to get these coins at what market value would dictate or get the trading at market value is 10 coins per and that is way more affordable than paying like at the time 
89s are going for like 55 to 60,000 coins. So if I pull an 89 overall out of this heavyweight pack, I'm saving coin there instead of paying for it off the auction block. Now, obviously, your luck depends on what you're going to get out of these packs. My luck was actually pretty good. Like, I pulled a lot of 91s, a lot of 90 overalls. And so basically what I did out of the heavyweights pack was just quick sell everything that wasn't in 89 overall from 88s to 90 to 91s. And the reason why you want to do is headway packs, not flashback packs, because of the cost. Spend some training if you guys got it for that specifically to go ahead and get yourself the A9 overalls and quick sell everything else that you happen to pull. Because it doesn't seem like any of the heavyweight cards that I pull specifically are going for anything besides training value anyway. So that worked out for us for the A9 overalls. And then with the 87s, I did the veteran pack. Now it probably is better off just to buy the 87s for around 25 to 30,000 coins if that's what they're still going for. At the time, there were 25,000 coins, but I wanted to save 5,000 coins, and so I did this veteran pack set trying to get 87s. So let's do some math right now. Let's go ahead and build this thing out. <clears throat> so we got the 89 overalls out the veteran pack for 2,000, which is going to be 20,000 coins, okay? We got the heavyweight pack 89 overall, which is going to be 40,000 coins, okay, cool. We built Adrian Peterson for 60K a piece. So you go ahead and times that by two, though, because we got two Adrian Petersons, which is going to be 120,000 coins. Okay? And then we also got my man Ted Hendricks for 120 as well, which is obviously at the max we're getting these cards at 10,000 coins a piece for the core elites, plus 120K. And that brings us to 300,000 coins, way cheaper than buying these with training. And that's all I wanted to do. Now, consider this, right? We started the day with 2.4 million coins. I got 10 of these packs, and each of these cards sell for a minimum of 350,000 coins. We're going to make a lot of coins. That's pretty crazy, man. So let's go ahead and get into these packs. By the way, if you guys want to see me do another 10 packs for Team of the Year, let's aim for 500 likes. I got 10 more 89 overall that I pull out this veteran pack. So I don't want to sell them, I don't want to quick sell them. So I figure if this part goes over really good, we'll go ahead and hit back the exchange sets and trying to pull some more of these team of the year players. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. We got five offense and five defensive team of the year packs. One Russell Wilson, one Luke Kuechly, one Aaron Donald. Usually when I gamble, I like to do the same thing over and over again so that way I can't get mad at myself. So if I wasn't doing this for YouTube, I would be pulling all defensive player packs trying to get my best chance at Donald. Plus, he's going for the most. But because I didn't want to like have y'all mad at me, we're doing half and half. So like I said, 500 likes, and we'll go back and do five or ten more of these packs tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get into this. And let's go offense, defense, defense, offense. That animation, bro, that is, that's so dope. That's that's really cool. We got a right tackle, Braden Smith right there. I was supposed to go do defense. I made a mistake. All right, cool. I, that's so cool. We got Michael Thomas. Actually, I'm going to probably end up keeping this card just because I still haven't powered up on my team because for some reason, I like slow receivers. I have no idea why. That is our new Larry Fitzgerald defensive player. Pat. We get Mika Fitzpatrick. That guy low-key might replace. Might replace Sean Taylor. He's really good in man, really good in zone. We get Zadarius Smith. Back to the offensive side we go. Need Russell. Need a 97 overall pull. Team of the year packs. All right, we get Dryan Jensen. I don't need a center. Don't need a center at all. Even though they don't block. Next one. <laughs> They're giving me the entire offensive line, bro. I'm about to have an all decked out line that's still going to be able to pass block against two people. All right, we get Grady Jarrett. That's not good. This is this is not going the way I expected. <laughs> this ain't going the way that I thought. We get Calais Campbell. Give me Luke or give me Aaron Donald out of this last one, man. Give me Luke or give me Aaron Donald out of this last pack. Mika once again. No Luke Keekly for me. And that's going to get the last offensive player pack. No more linemen. No more linemen. They really gave me a left tackle. A left guard, a center, and a right tackle. <laughs> Man, they really gave me an entire offensive line. And Michael Thomas, who is basically a tight end. But yeah, that's, I'm not going to complain about it because, like I said, we built this for way cheaper than a lot of you guys are probably going to be able to because of the market great coin for right now. So we definitely made some coins. Just wanted to get one of those pulls that I can keep on my team. And we got Michael Thomas, so I'll probably end up keeping anyway. But we're going to go ahead and sell these cards off, get our coins back up, and then go ahead and start working towards doing this again tomorrow. If you guys do indeed hit that goal. But hope you guys enjoyed. 
Let me know what you guys pulled down in the comment section below. It's been your boy Texas, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. They say money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down pay. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns, now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God.